Today is February 8th, 2017. My hair is crazy. And it's James Dean's birthday. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Richard Hoffman, and welcome back to Richard Hoffman TV. I know I haven't posted in a while. Uh, it's 2017 now, February 8th, 2017 to be exact, and today is James Dean's birthday. If you don't know who James Dean is, let me get a photo for you. This is James Dean on the set of one of his movies. He was an actor who only made three films and then died in a terrible car accident. Don't be angry, son. If you want to give me a present, give me a good life. That's something I could value. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, Cow! <laughs> Cow. He became a legend. He became iconic. You're tearing me apart! What? You, you say one thing, he says another, and everybody changes back again! He is the definition of iconic. I'm a rich I'm a rich boy. Me, I'm gonna have more money than you ever thought you could have. You and all the rest, you stinking sons of Benedicts. So this may seem a bit strange, but to celebrate his birthday, I'm going to be driving to the spot where he had the car crash that killed him. Now I know that sounds a little bit morbid to visit the crash site on the day he was born, but there is a beautiful memorial that was built right by the crash site that I love to visit, and I want to show you guys uh, this place. So this is one of the first James Dean sightings I've had along the way to Sholam. Look at that. That's so cool. It's like a painting, but it's made up of individual square. Each little square and panel has painting on it. It's like flowers and, and his face. That's awesome. And then on the back, there's some writing. I guess this is the artist, John Cerny. James Dean made his last stop at this corner on September 30th, 1955. The young actor died in a car crash a short time later while en route to Salinas for an auto race. Although he appeared in only three films, James Dean remains a legend. That's the truth. See, here's the back of it. That's so cool. There's the road. And then here is the bigger one. It's just this huge, almost like a cutout of James Dean. Look, it's James. Isn't that crazy? So tall. Right now I'm about an hour away from the crash site. So, I just got some more coffee and uh, we'll be there soon. We're coming up to the James Dean Memorial Junction. It's where the two freeways came together where James had his accident. I definitely feel it's um, 
there's a there's a weird feeling. There's a weird vibe here. It's, it's kind of I'm I'm feeling kind of nervous, kind of freaked out. This is where the two freeways come together and uh, there used to be, the freeway used to come this way where, where it's now um, a field. They paved it over because they, they uh, made a new, a new freeway. But yeah, this is the spot. So I'm going to take us to the spot. Uh, I have to run across the road very quickly and it's going to get kind of loud so you probably won't be able to hear me too well but uh, hopefully this will not be a snuff film. You can see this is a field where everything used to be. This is where the freeway used to be. It's really muddy. Here's the spot. This is it. This is the spot. You can see people leave stuff here. But uh, this is actually the post where, uh, this is where he crashed. And it's gotten really wet. There used to be more stuff here, but I think a lot of it has washed away. But people leave cigarettes, photos, sunglasses. All right, so I did not get hit by a car running across the freeway like an idiot. Um, I'm getting back in the car and we're gonna take a drive to the James Dean Memorial and the Jock Ranch Cafe. Right here. Your destination is ahead on the right. Oh, it makes the scariest sounds. It freaks me out. Right, here we are. Here we are. And there is the James Dean Memorial right over there. I'm gonna park and then we can get a better uh, a better view of it. So this is Sholam, California. And right down there, you can see that's where we were earlier. That's where the crash site was. And now this is the memorial. You see, it's built around this tree. This kind of tree that the memorial is built around is called the Tree of Heaven. And so it's this metal uh, structure built around the tree. And there you see his name and his birthday. There's my finger. 1931, February 8th, and then he died in 1955, it was September 30th. Oh my God, and they even had the time, 5.59. Ooh. And look, there's a photo of him. There's a photo of James. And it's kind of hard to hear me because the freeway is right here, so it's it's very loud. 
But something interesting about this sculpture is that you see here how the metal is very clear and shiny and reflective. Uh, when it was first made, um, it was all like this, but just over time, the metal has worn down. It's not, you know, as shiny and reflective as it used to be. And here on it is uh, a quote. I don't know if you can see. It's, um, it's written in the metal. It says, what is essential is invisible to the eye. And that's a quote from The Little Prince, which was one of James Dean's favorite uh, books. You can see it goes around and part of it is, has a, a, like this really cool texture to it. Here. So yeah, it goes around the tree, the tree of heaven. Oh, uh, see people leave things like stones and pictures, flowers. Tribute to a young man. So there's writing here. So the date that they have is September 30th, 1977. So I guess this is the year that uh, the memorial was put up. And then you see there's like all this uh, built, like these, this little wall around it. So it's like gravel, it's almost like a little meditation center. There's a bird, looks like a dove or something. You see there's benches outside. It's really nice. He was driving to Salinas for a, he was, he would race cars. And look, here's, the, this is the post office. That's it. Sometimes they have cows here, but I guess there are no cows right now. Look at him. Look at that squirrel. Hey, squirrel. <laughs> it's really beautiful, peaceful here. There's a porta potty. Here's my car, still there. All right, so now we're going to go into the Jack Ranch Cafe. Whenever I visit the James Dean Memorial, um, it definitely makes me think about time and life and death. And I guess what freaks me out is that, you know, today is James Dean's birthday. When he was born, this spot in Sholam existed. The day he was born, the spot where he would eventually die, that already existed. So, I guess I wonder how much free will do we really have? And, you know, in some ways it's like, after a person dies, you can track their life from when they were born to when they died. And you can see that they started at this spot in the world and they moved to here and then to here and then came here and then came here but eventually at some point the story just ends he was born in indiana and he died right down there in this little town sholam california and it just feels like this strange inevitability that his whole life was just bringing him closer and closer to that intersection. And I guess it just, it makes me, I don't know, just reflective or melancholy. I don't know what the word or morbid or depressed. I don't know what the right word is for it, but it, 
it's just like the place where we're gonna die that exists it's going to be somewhere on this planet unless one of us is maybe an astronaut and we blast off into space and we die somewhere you know up there but for the average person the place you're going to die that place exists the body part that is going to malfunction in you maybe your heart or your lungs or your brain or whatever that's going to give out that exists that's there just waiting to give out or the car that's going to hit you or the bullet that's going to kill you or the knife or the water you're going to drown in you know what whatever's going to happen to you that's already here on this planet and it's just waiting it's just a matter of time before whatever that thing is happens. And I guess to me, I don't usually think about that and I don't think most people like to think about it because it's kind of, I mean, it's scary. On the other hand, there's something liberating about that, that, um, You know, we're all gonna die someday, but we do have time now. You know, we don't know how long, but we do have some time. And I guess it just makes me wonder, you know, what can I do before my time is up? And I think that's why I always come back here. To check in with myself and say, okay, you got another year. You still have more time. And I really wanna do something with the time that I have left however long that might be a day a year 50 years I don't know <laughs> oh I didn't think I was <laughs> I did not think uh, this vlog was gonna get this um intense but I just I wanted to share that and I'm really glad I came here. And I'm glad that I got to bring you guys here and you got to see the James Dean Memorial. Hey. Hey, that's enough static out of you.